Well, how do that, chums? Does I, you captain of the Steves, and today, chums, for you guys. In the view of us, I'm going to be playing something new. Yes, it's not No Man's Sky, it's Jurassic Park Evolution 2. You should be able to see it right there. Boom! That's it. Now, I'm, I haven't played this before, people. Not played this before, so I'm going to be hitting this up and seeing what I think. I'm going to be giving you my first impressions. Now, I have heard. I've done a little bit of research into it when I say I have heard. Yeah, I've done a little bit of research. Well, let's get a bit bigger on the screen. Boom. Let's stop Winamp playing. Lovely. Mm, I better put on a headset. Ooh. Wow, it's like being in cinemas, isn't it? Like being in the cinemas. Nice. Oh, got a cutscene. Grab my tea, people. Is that it? Is that is that? Oh. Right. I like the sounds. The sounds are good. Let's uh, let's just turn them down a little bit though, because you know I don't want to deafen you with them. Right. Let's hit this then. Brightness. Yes, that can stay as it. Oh my fudging Christ! What the heck have we got here? We got lots of stuff. Well, fine. Ah, I don't want to change anything. I just want to play the game. Let's do it. Let's do this. Okay, all right, so we've got a campaign. We're going to do the campaign mode first, people, which is like the story mode of this game. Hopefully the sound is at a reasonable level for you now. Yeah, let's just... Uh, there's also challenge mode and chaos theory. Apparently you need to do campaign and chaos theory and a little bit of challenge mode before you can actually unlock everything in sandbox. So here we go. Let's do campaign then. Let's hit this up. Yes, and we'll try this one here. Apparently this, this sort of links on from after Jurassic Park 2 or something and the monsters have escaped and you've got to go capture them all. So I don't know how much park building we're going to do. Jurassic World. This, this is where our story begins. The scientific breakthrough without any consideration of the consequences. So nature did what it does and unleashed chaos. This time we were deeper into the illusion of control and the chaos brought something much worse. And for a moment, we remembered how precious life is. But time has a funny way of softening our memory of what it's like to lose control. And ambition. Ambition is a persistent thing. For the dinosaurs left behind, time was becoming immaterial. From miracles of science to assets destined for exploitation. Perhaps it's time to reflect on the true nature of nature. Endless cycle with one goal oh, ho, ho. survival. And this means that dinosaurs and humanity have to find a way to work out their differences. I think I'm going to enjoy this, people. So, yeah, I'm going to have to keep adjusting the volumes, I think. Basically, what I wouldn't mind is having the, the sound of the talking right up and the sound of the music right down. I might have to go back into the options and look at those. Oh. To us, a desert is a wasteland devoid of anything but the most extreme examples of life. But creatures once thrived in these lands hundreds of millions of years ago. Given the geological history that we're dealing with, dinosaurs walking among the tumbleweeds isn't that much of a stretch. The current situation, where dinosaurs are running wild, is untenable to those in charge, well, those that think they're in charge. So, we're left with a problem, or an opportunity. This is where you come in. They've ignored my warnings before, but maybe this time with you, it's going to be different. Department of Fish and Wildlife. Okay, alright. 
I've just got that badge, have I? Epic music. Right, let's go into the options. Let's just go into the old audio settings. Settings, audio. Right, main volume. If I put that down just a tad. Music volume. Not overly fussed about the music so much. Sound effects. I'll put those there. Hopefully we get a few dinosaur growls and things like that. There we are. And then the, the actual volume of the voice I want to the top. So there we go. I think we're good, people. I think we're good. Actually, let's just check up the, the main to about there. 100%. Okay, cool. I think we're about good now. All right. There we are. And exit. Hopefully that's saved. Okay. Okay, I guess an introduction is in order. I'm Cabot Finch, Assistant Director of the U.S. Department of Fish and Wildlife. I know it sounds important, because it is, <laughs> but let's not get bogged down in labels and titles and organizational flowcharts. I'll make this easy. You work for me. See, nothing to it. <laughs> You'll be working with the experts. This is Claire Deering and Owen Grady. And yes, we have first-hand experience with the dinosaurs. I'm the former operations manager at Jurassic World. Owen and I actually helped build the park. And unfortunately, we were there to witness its destruction. And this is Owen. He works with velociraptors. You could call me a dinosaur wrangler, though officially I'm an animal behaviorist. I was just building a level of trust with them when this happens. Okay, so we'll need to get a few things in place ASAP. Cool. Start with a response facility, equipped with both a Ranger Team 4x4 and a Capture Team helicopter. Love it. Okay. Okay. Uh, how do I select this facility? What have I got to do exactly? Construct a response facility. Response facility. So I guess I go into. How do I get on that side menu? Okay. I, I guess I go into there then. Response facility. Here we go. Oh, and it's given me a little blue area that I need to build it in. Hopefully there's a little bit more freedom when it comes to actually building my actual own park one day. Like it. We are making excellent progress, so let's stay focused. Next step, building a backup generator. Then okay. feeding the energy it creates to the response facility. Okay. And also make sure the building is connected to the path network. It only right. does as good if it's operational. Okay. Okay, so this seems to be, you know, part of the tutorial, which you would kind of expect anyway. So that looks like it's all sort of built and it hasn't got any power at the moment because, you know, you've got a little battery icon there. So now we've got to build a generator. So build a generator. How do I get into the side menu? Because it just popped up last time. I had an X button to get over there. Now I don't know how to get into. There we go. Power. Yes, I want a backup generator. I guess I can stick that somewhere in this blue region. I'll put it there then. Sweet, that's building. And then the other thing I needed to do was to build a pathway, wasn't it? So, pass, here we go. And I guess I'm just going to need to build a path going from here to there. Boom! Is that it? Hey, Claire. We may have trouble tracking this dinosaur from the ground, and even more trouble if we're lucky enough to find it. Then the sensible thing is to take a capture team helicopter. Oh! You can track it from the air. No See? way! I like the way I think. Hmm. How do I go up? How do I fly up? Okay. Mm, oh, I was just reading the controls at the button and that happened. Capture items. Locate priority dinosaurs in the surroundings area by using the compass at the top of the screen. Okay, cool. Approach a dinosaur and use triangle to aim to the switch mode. Nice. While in aim mode, use R1 to fire. Tranquilization darts. Stimulus darts can be used to wake... Oh, okay. Oh, brilliant. All right. So descend an R2. There we go. All right. So he's over this way, apparently. This is a bit like the radar in No Man's Sky, so I'm quite familiar with this. Oh, look at that. There's a big freaking billboard on the dang dinosaur. Lovely. He hasn't roamed far from home, has he? Lucky. Repositioning. And what was it? R R1, wasn't it?
Just get a bit closer. Bring me down. We got him. We freaking got him. Okay, how do we pick him up? This is L. I copy you. We have it. Capture successful. I knew you'd do it. Yeah. Never had a doubt. Really? Well, well I sedated him. Well, it's better than usual. I'll take it. Now, where do we take this dinosaur? We have the enclosure. We just need you to deliver. Hey, don't I always? Wait, uh, you don't have to answer that. Cool. How do I actually pick him up, though? Okay, I'm not too sure how we pick this guy up. Okay. Okay. Transport. Oh, there we go. Delivery box or something, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. Okay, switch back to tool menu. What's this do? No, I'm fi yeah, finalized selection. There we go. Delivery to the box obstructed. I'm, I'm not quite sure what I'm doing, to be honest. Did I sedate him in the wrong place or something? Oh, okay, I can name him. All right. I think that's fine, but how, how do I um, actually get this guy delivered? I don't really know. I don't know how to get him delivered. Transport. I don't, I don't think that's going to do too much, is it, really, to be honest? Uh, it's not like it's right on him or anything. Yeah, that's 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 pretty much. I I have no idea what that's doing exactly. All right, well, I guess he's going to appear in the enclosure, maybe. If Regan knows. All right, what's this then? Map, control room, transport the bar to the. Yeah, it'd be nice if you told me how how I transfer transfer it. I have no idea. Transport. Well, where is my poxy helicopter? I mean, I've, I've selected him. I don't know. I don't know how to actually transport him in. It doesn't actually tell me, so, you know, there's that. Stand by. Capture team standing by. Why? Why are you standing by? Food, reply. There's nothing there, so I guess... Direct control? I don't think I, I don't think I've got the capture equipment on the bottom of this dang thing, so I don't know what I'm supposed to bloody do. I don't know why the helicopter went back to base, because I'm fairly sure. Transport. Obstructed. Great, yeah. Well, uh, there's no other dinosaurs for me to freaking put to sleep, mate. So I have no idea how I'm supposed to get it off this cliff edge right now. Do I have to start the game again? I don't know. I honestly don't know what I'm supposed to do. Oh, you know what I could do? I could re-stimulate this dang thing, couldn't I? I could bring him back to bloody life, I guess, and... And then try and shoot him somewhere else. Where's my poxy helicopter gone? I don't know where my helicopter's gone. Has it gone back to bloody base? It bloody has. Okay, right. Okay, cool. Let's um, let's try that again then. Oh, for fudge's sake. Take off. 
Yeah, I don't know why you went blinking where you went. Okay, here we go. Let's bring him back to life and hopefully put him back to sleep somewhere I can freaking pick him up. All right. First impressions of this game, people. Well, the, where is the freaking git? I don't see him now. There he is. Right, OK. Stimulant. There we are. Oh, great. Oh, great. Let's get lower then. Cool. Get the fudge off the ground, you git bag. Oh, what? I've got to use... Damn, I was only hoping to wake him up a little bit. Now wake up. Right. Now freaking go somewhere half decent. Go on. Go on. You know you want to. And get off the hill. Right, about there would do. Oh, for fudge's sake. Oh, don't run. Oh, you little shite. Oh, no, he's gone on another bloody hill now, hasn't he? That's probably going to be restricted as well. Oh, some biscuits. I'm going to have the same bloody problem if he falls asleep there, I think. Come back down. Come on. Come down here. Into the crosshairs so I can shoot you in the frickin' face. Come on. Oh, he's just going to sit there now, isn't he? Fine. Come on. Oh, no. He's, he's, he's fallen asleep. He's going to fall asleep there. Well, let's, um... Where is he? There he is. Right. And... Yeah, I want to pick him up. I want to pick him up. So, here we go. Transport. That guy. Okay. Oh, it says I'm freaking obstructed again. All right, well, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I have no idea how to pick these blinking dinosaurs up and how to get them back. Um, I have no idea what to do, how to do it or anything. I mean, what's this poxy blue line? Um, do I put this somewhere? I mean, what am I doing exactly? Oh, hold on. Do I have to bring this all the way back up to here? Oh, it'd be nice if it freaking made that more bloody obvious, wouldn't it? Holy fudge. I thought that green smoke was to keep him sedated. There we go. That's where I want him. Oh, my days. That was not intuitive. That was not intuitive at all. Oh, that is so freaking fudged up. I could have got him first time. OK. I think I need another sip of tea, people. So this is just my first impressions. OK. Cool, I can um, speed up time by the looks of things. I think I need more time. Was that me just being daft, people inside the viewerverse? Don't, don't worry. Smash it into the comments. Let us know whether you saw how to blink and do that. You probably did. I didn't notice that blue line the first time I put him to sleep because of all the green freaking smoke. OK, now what? John Hammond was concerned about what would happen if dinosaurs lived in the wild. It right. adds a whole new level of challenge and perhaps opportunity. OK, is that it? Have I, have I done this mission? I'm, I'm assuming I have. Where's my poxy dinosaur? Oh, here it comes. Look, there's a helicopter in the background lifting him up. Cool. <laughs> it's on his way. OK, people. Now, I'd imagine when we've got our own park, we can do all splicing and egg merging and stuff like that. And you probably don't have to go capture ones in the wild. Well, I imagine wild ones are a little bit more aggressive and angry than the ones that we can actually breed to put into our pens. I'm looking forward to making my own habitats. That's what I'm looking forward to doing. 
um, yeah, and then just sort of, you know, learning about the dinosaurs. At the moment, that was quite frustrating, but now I know what I'm doing, hopefully, you know, episode two, if I do an episode two. Because the whole point of this video is, do I like this game enough to continue playing it until there's an update to No Man's Sky? You may have noticed I've, I've given up on playing um, The Outer Worlds. The Outer Worlds I kind of liked, kind of didn't, and I couldn't get, I couldn't make my mind up. Sweet, look at him. Any happy? I think he's happy. There he goes. I instantly wow. recognize this dinosaur. Kind of hard to forget once you've been trapped in a room with one. We couldn't save that Baryonyx, but we can certainly help this one. Wow. I'm liking the sound effects. I'm liking everything about this, apart from the, the tutorial. To consume. So we'll need a feeder inside the perimeter of that enclosure. Hungry dinosaurs make me nervous. Can't disagree with you there. Okay, how do I do that then? How do I feed dinosaur? Okay, you'll go to the trees. We're gonna feed it a freaking tree. Okay, environment. All right. Um, is it gonna eat? I don't know whether it's gonna eat that. Feeders, view a range of post offs. I don't I don't know what I'm supposed to select. Place down a, a piece of core feeder. Well, what the what is that when it's at home? What bloody menu, mate? Well, there's a feeders there that's bloody empty. Do I have to be out of the water or something? No. Nope. Well, I don't see any feeders there. It's empty. Hold on. Oh, right. All right, All right fine. Requires shallow water. There we go. All right. Okay, there we are. I'm gonna put down two of them. Might as well. Good to go on this end. Copy. Okay. We need to get a full assessment of the dinosaur's health. Utilize a ranger team vehicle. You have to go oh, in there. I'll help you get a status of the animal's overall welfare. Then we can plan our next move. I don't Where think we should be leaving that gate plan? open. I mean. I've always been more of a just make it up as I go kind of guy. Me too. Tell you what, if this doesn't work, we'll try your way. Mm, that sort of sounds like a plan. Mm. Construct a ranger post inside your enclosure so it covers all your species. Okay. Gate ranger teams provide the latest dinosaur welfare information via status check. Ranger teams can be assigned to patrol ranger posts and will per periodically check the status. Great. So we need to go in to build one of those like little portaloos. All right, cool. Let's go. Faster, faster. Let's get in. Okay, you can close the gate. All right. Oh, this is cool. I don't know what I'm supposed to do right now, though. Perform a status change. It didn't really tell me how to do that. All right. Um, okay. I'm trying to use the binoculars right now, which, for whatever reason, I've got flares. I don't think that's going to do it. Oh, there we go. There we are. Am I not in range or something? I think I'm good. Come to Stevie. I have no idea why it's not scanning the dang thing. I'm using R1. Accelerate, brake. Okay. Do I have to get even closer? I've got poxy binoculars for a reason. Well, I don't know what I'm doing again. Oh, here we go. We've completed our check. Good. While we can't replicate what we had on the islands, we still have to do what we can to get the dinosaurs more comfortable with their current surroundings here in Arizona. Sunscreen and drinks by the pool? How's that sound? Are you seriously asking? Or pretend asking? Okay, Claire. How about we add some preferred terrain to their pens instead? Better? Uh-oh. Go away. Go on. Go away. Go over there. I don't know. Alright. Okay, how do I... Uh, 
Get in the freaking car. Put it away. Okay, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do now. Ensure that it has 95% comfort. All right, how the fudge do I do that then? Select the scan dinosaur to... For fudge's sake. How do I select the scan bloody dinosaur, mate? Uh, okay. There he is. All right, comfort. How do I find out what he bloody likes? All right, here we are. Comfort. Territorial needs. Cohabitation, 0%. Area. Oh, he likes... He doesn't like rocks. He likes fish, which he's got... He's got some fish. Um, he likes open space, which... Mm, give or take. I think he needs some more rocks, mate. I think he needs some more rocks, maybe. He's got a lot of water. Okay. Um, so, rocks. How do I get some more rocks? Rocks. There we go. Uh, let's go for a different rock. There you go. I think that's perfect. 100% perfect now. He just wanted some bloody rocks. There we go. We're done. Um, actually, well, there's only 19% on rocks. But it says perfect. I think he's happy. I think that's done the trick. There we go. I, he's, he's comfort and healthy. He's good. All right, we're done. Ensure that it has 95%. I've hit a freaking 100, gotta mate. monitor these dinosaurs more closely. That means setting up a ranger post inside their enclosure. Sounds crazy, I know, but this will work. Trust me. Ah! Ranger post, that one there. Okay. Let's go put it by these rocks. And we put it fairly close to the entrance, I think. There we are. Right, so that's there. Assign a ranger team to patrol this. Add ranger team. Assign. I think I'm done. I've done. I'm getting better I'm on this, people. I'm getting reports of dinosaurs running freely around the facility, Claire. No, the you haven't. Reports may be accurate, but they don't paint a complete picture of our current status. Angry dinosaurs on the loose. What am I missing? They're not angry. They're simply acting on instincts. The more threatened the dinosaurs feel, the more hostile they'll become. Especially if they sense survival is at stake. But it is. Both theirs and ours. Yeah, but only we know that. Well, for now, anyway. We'll start by tranquilizing one of the dinosaurs from the helicopter, and then have a transport team bring it back to the facility. Great. Do it. Okay, let's do this then. Oh, there's a couple of dinos. Where? Um, what kind of dinos? How am I going to be able to put them in with this guy? Are they going to need a bigger... I can't put them in. They're triceratopsies. They're going to get eaten. Surely. Where are they? There they are. Take me down. In the head. Oh, I spooked him. They got him in the butt. Ha, you're down. Okay, right. Nighty night. -night. 
Right, we got them all. We got all of them. Right, well, let's get this guy first, then. So, how do I do this again? Oh, shite. Looks like I need to make a whole new freaking enclosure or something. Okay. Um, I guess we're going to have to build another enclosure. Uh, okay, so I guess we've got to go over here. I could have done with doing this first, to be honest. Okay. Well, there seems to be a partial enclosure already here, so... I guess... Now, I don't know what makes a Triceratopsis um, happy. Have I just run out of fence? Is that what's just happened? It's hard to tell from this angle how big I'm actually making this blinking thing. And do I have to follow this line? Yeah, I think it's helping me. I don't know, actually. All right, we'll go this way now. Oh, fudge. Okay, right. There you go. It's a bit squiffy, but that'll do. All right. Okay, up, up, up in the way. I think that's probably an okay sized enclosure for it. Have I got to build paths? Okay, construct a new enclosure to transport, isolate the tracer tops from the other dinosaurs, which it's going to happen. Remember to add a gate to allow rangers in. Well, it looks like it's already got a gate right here. Yes, gate two. I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's go and... Pick up those Triceratopsis. Where, where the fudge were they? They're over here. I can see little icons for them over yonder hill, people. Is there a go faster button? There's not a go faster button, is there? Fudge and hack. All right, come on. Right, let's go select my first Triceratopsian. I do like Triceratops. One of my favourite types of dino, to be honest. Well, I, I like the Protoceratops more than the Triceratops. Okay, well... And now we have to put this line, my days, all the way over to where I want him to go, which is all the way, 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 all the way over here. And uh, yeah, that's um, slow as fudge, isn't it, really, to be honest, poops. It'd be nice if it bounced you back to your base and you just selected the compound to put him in. That'd be better, wouldn't it? I think I need to add some water into here and all sorts of other stuff, but that's probably going to be the next step of the, the uh, tutorial, you know? Heck yes. Can I do more than one at a time? I don't think I can. I wouldn't have thought so anyway. Hold on. Multi-select mode. I could have done multi-select. Dang it! Okay. Well, hopefully we can do multi-select for the next one. I'm not going to get there in time to select the others. Well, he's going anyway. Asset being transported. Okay. How do you do multi-select? I better wait until that helicopter's took that one back to to base. There he goes, going over yonder hill. I can't actually move my sights up into the air at the moment, people, which is a little bit of a, a bugbear. There we go, there he goes over there. Well, I better wait until he gets dropped off, just in case it cancels what I've just blinking done. Or shall we do it? Let's do uh, Okay, so so we need to select that one. It had multi-select before, so that one is ticked. Two selected, there we go. I've got two selected now, people. He's just getting dropped off. As soon as that, that, that helicopter's finished what it's doing, let's see if we can do two at once. Come on, helicopter. Do your thing. Asset has been transported. Brilliant. Okay. So now it's got both of them. 
All right. Let, let's give this a go, people. We've got two Triceratopses, too. Heck yes! Okay. Brilliant. Hopefully the Triceratopses are going to like their new habitat, which I very much doubt they will. I've got a feeling that we're going to have to make the um, this little inhabitat, this little enclosure for them a little bit more to their liking. Asset collection request received. Sweet! Two Triceratopses at once. Oh, okay. And then we've got to put the other one here as well. All right. Collecting asset. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Okay. There goes one helicopter. There's probably going to be a secondary helicopter. Who knows? Maybe it'll just do some magic and Harry Potter both of them in. Who freaking knows? All right. Okay, cool. Uh, so let's let's go and have a look at this little chap. Comfort, look, he's not very comfy at all. What does he like for comfort? Oh, I'm gonna have to send in a ranger team to check, aren't I? All right, fine. I wonder if I can just cheat though and put in um, one of those ranger things. No, that's not it. Enclosures, one of these. I wonder if I can just put this in here and then set. Uh, a pathway. In progress. Okay, I'll rotate it around there. Let's put that there. And then if I just hit this and then assign a team. Sneaky. Then hopefully the ranger team will just... Look, look, the ranger team's on its way. Can I go and be part of this ranger team? Well, actually, it's going to do a check anyway. So... It's going to check the status of my little Triceratopsian. I could join the path up while I'm waiting, couldn't I? Here we go. Let's join the path up. I know it, I know I'm getting ahead of myself here, people, but why the fudge not, eh? Transportation underway. Whoops. Well, there you go. You can do a little roundabout. Sweet. Look at me all being magical and awesome. All right. Well, hopefully, hopefully that might have already done the status check for me. So if I zoom in now, look, they're not very comfortable. Oh, they're having a little tussle. They're having a little fight, people. All right. We need more ground fiber and we need water. All right, fine. So ground fiber. Let's put in some of this then. Fibrous ground cover. Right, there you go. There's a load of ground fiber now. Now I need a lake. How do I do lakes? Here we go, lake, add. Whoops. I didn't want to add it there. Oh well. Confirming asset delivery. Okay, we've only got 15% water. Overall, I'd say our operations are improving. I'm confident we may get a handle on this yet. But I'm also concerned, specifically about our biodiversity. Still, for now, let's focus on getting the dinosaurs safe and secure, as well as building some additional viewing galleries the DFW staff can use to monitor the animals. Okay, cool, yeah. Dinosaurs only consider an area inside their territory when determining their comfort level. Right, okay. Territory that's frequently visited shrinks over time to match the latest changes to the dinosaur's environment. Okay, all right, fine. Sweet. 
So hopefully as they discover a little bit more, like all the way over here, then that's cool. So if I go into here, go back out of that. Oh, no. No, I want to go back into here. Okay. Facility path. I think I've already done the path, mate. I think I'm already done. What the fudge? Facilities. Ah, cool. Hmm. In water. Damn it, I put too much water there, I think. Okay, all right, so if I go back into here, how do I get, aha, uh -huh. get rid of some of this water there? Let's do that. And then let's go back into here, choose that. No, I don't want that. Um, I want this one, that one. Slapperjack. We'll stick that there. And then I think we need to put some more path. Like that. It's a bit squiffy, but it'd do. It's a tutorial mode. I don't really overly care about this too much. Sweet. There you go. Nice little viewing area. All right. With so many of the animals running free. Our priority has to be capturing as many of them as possible. Okay. We can coordinate our efforts from an expedition center. Get one built and we'll take it from there. An expedition center, you say? All right. Ooh, I got a new building. Expedition center. All right. Think the expedition center. I'm going to build right here, and I'm going to put it close to the path, so I don't have to bloody build another path. I'd, I'd do the trick, wouldn't I? Put that right there. Ah. There you go. No path to arrival point. The frickin' is. I, I, I deliberately built it right on the bloody path. Okay. Let's just let's just uh, make it freaking obvious then. There you go. Done. Done. I guess. I'll be able to track the dinosaurs, okay. but some help would sure be appreciated. Claire tells me there are some candidates to recruit. Ooh. Scientists. Hopefully you can find one as rough and tumble as I am. Hmm. Okay, well, he costs a lot per minute. A freaking lot per minute. Uh, right, so he's got logistics. He goes up to seven, though. But that's, that's freaking mentals. Why? Okay, faster research, though. He brings in faster research. Hmm. Reduces the salary by 50%. What? Ultra-realistic salary. No, oh, that's, um... Okay. Is that... If, hmm. Traits. Yeah, uh, that's not too bad. I could do it in, in having her and him. But he's really expensive. But he is going to make faster research time. Hmm. I go with her. Confirm. Yes. And hopefully having her... this, Claire? He's yeah, gonna make him sure half of his expensive. This is our first but we'll go with this guy. Opportunity. Let's not miss it. We should assign that scientist you just hired to the task. Agreed? How? Owen, huh? you there? I think you're still muted. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Uh good idea. Uh, what do we got to lose? You know, except a, maybe a new recruit. Okay. Scientists are key members of staff need to perform special tasks, all right? Browse recruitment page to see which scientists are available. Done. The scientists have three types of skill. Logistics, yeah, lovely. Okay. 
Each task has set skills required that need to be met by a assigned scientist. Yeah, okay, cool. All right. Um, assign a scientist to the live capture expedition. Okay, go to Winston to learn. Select a scientist to oversee a large capture expedition. All right, we'll do that then. Okay, there. And I'm going to send you. Okay. Oh, a stegosaur. Nice. All right. Can I assign both of them? I can. All right. We'll assign both then. Before the remote capture teams return, we should have enclosures ready for the dinosaurs. Okay. Think of it as welcoming them back home. Okay. Sweet. All right. Um... I guess we gotta better make another enclosure. Alright, I guess I'm gonna make one here. Alright, let's um let's do that then. Bum 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 da bum. Now what I want is a gate first, so let's put the gate. Let's put the gate about there then. Lovely. And let's go into the menu. Uh, let's go. Ba, 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 ba. I go right into this corner. Go this way. No power. Okay, I might need to get another power thing in at some stage then. Go this way. Go right to the edge. Then we we'll go this way. I'm going to build a slightly weirder shaped one. Why not? Don't have to be perfect, do they? In fact, it'd probably look a bit nicer, a bit higgledy-piggledy. There we go. Done. Oh. Live capture. Stegosaurs are coming. All right. Fine. Um, enclosures, I'm gonna stick this in here. Right. Now, I'm gonna have a little guess at what they might like. I think they're gonna like some water. So, we'll put some water over here. A lot of these herbivore dinosaurs like water, you see. So, we'll have that there, a nice big bloody lake for them. And then, I think they're going to like leafy climbers, so let's put some of that in here for a little bit of that. But I also think they're going to like some fibrous stuff too, so put all that over here. Now, we're going to have an observation area, so I'm hoping to encourage the dinosaurs over there. Um, so, here we go. Operations, was it that one? No, it was this one. I'm going to stick this right about there. Nice. And then I'm going to put a path. I'm actually really enjoying this now, people. Into here. Okay, I guess we're not then. No, that's fine. Ah, we need power. That's what we need. We need more power. All right. Let's do it. Yep, I know. We need some more fuel generators. Ranger teams. Okay, coolio. All right. Yeah, I'm already on it. I'm already on it. Where's power, though? Power. Here we go. Power plant. Okay, let me, 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 you know what, I'm going to deliberately put down two of these things. Okay. Can I build one over here? Yeah, I can. Oh, fuel. 
I need fuel as well. Decorations, transport. Operatives. Emergency shelter. I don't know about that. Facilitize. I've already got one of them. Oh, what we haven't got. We haven't got one of those as a viewing area on here, have we? So, where's the dinosaur in this enclosure? He's over there. So, we'll stick it there, I think. There you go. Why can't I... Um... Oh, I put it round the bloody wrong way. That's why. All right. Um, how do I get rid of this? Yeah, I've gone and stuck it round back to front, mate. Yeah, I, I get it. I get it. Um, I need to delete it. Yes, I know. How do I delete the dang thing? All right. Into facilities, choose that. How do I delete this one? Demolish. Yes. I don't know. Move. Aha, look. It's a little bit restricted by the path at the moment. Aha. I can put it over here, though. Let's put it there. I think that'd be a good spot. And now I should be able to move the. I should be able to build a path going over to it. I do. Why has it not got power? That's a bit of a worry. All right. Um, let's put power closer then, shall we? Let's put power right by the dang thing. Let's see if that does the trick. I think that's done it. We set a ranger team. I've already got one ranger team, apparently. There we go. I do. All right. Okay. Well, we've got this lovely little paddock here for the stegosaurs once they come. Awaiting the capture of the dinosaurs. We've got another 55 minute, uh, 55 seconds there, people. Place ranger posts. I've already done that. Yeah. Um, the rangers are going in, but there's nothing for them to scan right now. So, uh, happy days. Um, let's see what else we can put inside of here. Oh, we've got some trees. Let's put some of those in as well. Try and encourage them over to this viewing area. I don't really want to restrict the view too much of the viewing area. Got a few trees there. Let's, um, let's bring this in just a teeny bit more. I think they might like a little bit more water than what we have. And uh, what else would they like, do I think? Oh, maybe they would need that. I wonder if these guys need... I don't. I think they're herbivores, so... Okay. Yeah, transport the dinosaur. And deliver the dinosaur there. Transporting asset. Transit has commenced. Commencing asset transit. Asset has been collected. There we go. Oh, this is brilliant. I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot, people in the view of us. I wonder if they could have cohabited with the Triceratopses, though. Sweet. And hopefully when the rangers come to check them again... Hopefully... Delivery has been completed. Transportation complete. Delivery complete. Asset transportation complete. I don't know whether I can view these. Requires status check. I don't know whether I can right now. I've got to wait for the rangers to come back again. Comfort. We don't know about the comfort at the moment because we haven't got no 
check-in times. Where are my bloody rangers? Okay. Who's watching who? I'm not following you, Owen. Well, it's just like the dinosaurs are always watching us, so shouldn't we be watching them? Yes, we should. Beep, beep. Once we have the dinosaurs comfortably settled into their enclosures... I don't we'll want to run you over. Batteries. Beep, beep. What I'm saying. Only you say. I like this. This is cool, isn't it? All right, well, let's, uh, let's go scam one of these guys. Okay. Acid check complete. Missing ground fruit. Oh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't anticipate that, did I? Ground fruit, leafy climbers, remove foliage. Ah, fruit and nuts, here we go. Okay. Let's bring him in a little bit closer here. There we go. That that's a bit better. Hopefully we can bring him over here to actually eat. That'd be cool. There we go. I think that's probably done the trick. Let's go and see how happy they are now. Comfort. What, what are you missing exactly? Missing ground fruit. How are you missing ground fruit, mate? Okay, ground fruit is at 88%. I need a bit more ground fruit, do I? Okay. Um... Let's do that. shame it doesn't show you how you're doing on the ground fruit sort of shenanigans okay oh no that's the wrong one i need this I need this one that's what i need there you go there you go my little dinos have some of this i don't think i needed the fish in there but you know here's what it is want to put in a little bit of variance so there we go i'll put these at the back because they're quite large there we go i think that should have done the bloody trick hold on 90 percent comfort all right i, I think we're done are they 90 percent comfortable that would do them that looks quite awesome, if I do say so myself. Heck yes. And three, two, one. I'm fairly sure they're 90% comfortable. Yes, there we go. We're done. Attention all personnel. Our weather reports have identified Owen. Sweet. Owen, we Ooh. have a real problem. I'm what? trying, Claire, but it's just... Well, this is who I am. Not you. Ah, the dinosaurs. Tell me something I don't know. Okay, how about this? There's a massive sandstorm headed our way, and it can oh, wipe no. out the facility. Without power, the safety of... Well, you know what, people? I've hit an hour right now, so that's going to be where I end off on this. Now, what I'll probably do is come back to you guys in the viewerverse. I'm just going to hit save up there. Yeah. New save. Yeah, okay. And... 
I will come back to you on how, what I feel with this, but my first impressions, I'm actually really enjoying it. There were some sort of like hiccups inside the tutorial, but I think that was probably my own stupidity. And um, I'm really enjoying this. I think this is going to be an awesome, awesome game for me to spend some time until we get the update to No Man's Sky. And at the moment, this is on sale on PlayStation. I picked this up for 15 quid. And I think it's worth every penny because that hour went super quick, people. So yeah, a cup of tea with Captain Steve. My cup was empty a long ago. I just love my lovely merch mug. I've got new merch coming to my channel as well, people. Um, check out the uh, Teespring page and all that sort of shenanigans. Anyway, I'm going off. I'm rambling. I like this. My first impressions, I think that was 15 quid well spent. But um, we'll see how things go on. I have heard that some of the chaos mode stuff is tedious. So we'll see how we get on with that. Anyway, people, salute to Mondo. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.